coming. Oh. Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> it's arrived. Fantastic. Come in. Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Hey. Take you to the disco at the end. Hey, darling, it's yeah. arrived. What's arrived? Oh, the robot woman re release from Snapper. Already? Yeah. Fantastic. Quick. Fantastic. Guy. <laughs> yes, look at Whoa, that. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, it's been x rayed. Hope it's still all right. Whew. I'm so excited. This is. It's been a year and 30 in the making, and uh, here it is. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Harry? Yep. Well done. That's a wonderful achievement. Mother Gong, the Robot Woman Trilogy, 64 page hard book back, four CDs. Original albums remastered from tape with extended remixes from multi-tracks. Bonus CD, previously unreleased songs, demos and live recordings. Definitive book, creative history, cartoon, storyline and libretto of Robot Woman. Reviews, posters and many previously unpublished photos put together by composer and co-writer Harry Williamson. That's me, with assistance from the estate of Jilly Smythe. Fantastic. Fantastic. And there it is. High five. Yeah, that's the cover. That's also the first page of the cartoon. Okay, we can dispense with the um, beautifully um, presented wrapping paper. Put that over there. So how do you feel? Oh, I'm excited. I want to see what the print's like. Okay. Do I shut that? Oh, yeah. Little poster thing comes off. That's a nice touch. It's uh, really, really nice. Ah, four CDs. Mm. Wow, with the robot. And then the magic land of dreams. And then the transformation. Gosh, and then the universe. That is universe. So it's beautiful, yeah, it's yeah. on black paper. And then inside, there's the shadow graphs of robots, which is black. Shiny black on black, so you can hardly see them. There's all the different robots. Ah, oh, here's the story. Ah, oh, yes, this, oh, it looks really good. So how do you find the print quality? Ah, oh, astonishing, it's really, golly. It's so much better <laughs> than on the screen. <laughs> I spent months looking at this thinking, is it gonna be, oh, wow, 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 sorry. Ah, uh, there we go. This is the story of the uh, development of the plot of us playing at Glastonbury, 1979 and 81. Ah. Uh, and the uh, story, more of that. And then in the studio with Guy Evans and Dave Sawyer and Chili and David and improvisation. All right. And that's the... Uh, the postscript. Behind each of these pages, there's a kind of f a head of the robot woman with all the circuits in different colours. This one's in gold and copper. Mm -hmm. Previous one's in green. And that one's in blue. So it's like development of the of the spirit of the robot woman. Here's the cartoon. So how tricky was it for you to do this while you're in Australia and they produce this in England? Is it? Uh, I think it was printed in Germany. There's a lot of um, a lot of different uh, wow, different comings and goings, but but basically with today's modern file uploading systems, it was pretty pretty smooth once we established everything. God, the colours are amazing.
And I'm, I'm, um, and here's the cover of the Robot Woman 1. All right, that's good. And then the synopsis of the story. With excerpts from the cartoon, blown up. It's just such a fantastic concept to have <coughs> all this together, isn't it? And um, also there's a kind of, um, yes, there's some little clues and games going on in the, in the artwork, but that'll be up to the individual, um, the individual collector to discern. And there's the fire poem with Jilly, dear Jilly. Hmm. Well, she would have been very proud of this. She would have been very impressed very, by very this. Proud. It's really professional. And there's the um, back page of the Robot Woman 1. And here's front cover and back cover of Robot Woman 2 in bright blue. And then this is Robot Woman 3. Beautiful, beautiful. Glossy. Mm, good, good got a, uh, but yes, feel mm. it, have a feel. Yeah. Oh, it's very, it's very, very nice really quality. quality. Yeah, it's lovely. And then there's. Um, Review, a long review by Rick Chafin, our staunch ally, and then a whole load of posters, excerpts from the um, lyrics and the various um, the bar plans for the drum patterns and ideas. And oh, there's a little sketch by Sting, wow, for the machine song. And then there's the magenta, the end of magenta, showing, and with the, m me and Jenny as children. And the story of Ox's Cross and the studio. Various musicians. Some photographs. Coming to Australia. Here's mm, all the it's got that nice smell of freshly pressed. Yes, hasn't it, Jazz? <laughs> and it's got this, uh, here's the track listing um, and the uh, credits and the details about the extra tracks and then the CD listing, a couple of poems. There's my dad. The labels, so you can see the original labels. And then the, the, the French family of Gong in Glastonbury, 1981. And then here is the entire libretto. Mm. There you go. So in mm. case you didn't know the words, here mm. they are. Uh, three albums. Just that, and just a beautiful gift. And au revoir from Australia. Mm. That's it. I'm astonished. Well what a legacy. Wow. Hey, thanks, Mad Fish. Thanks all at Snapper, Richard, and the gang. You've just been amazing. I just I salute you. So terrific, brilliant work. Thank you. Thumbs up.